close this. Hi, um, I'm just going to give a quick demo of something I've been using recently. Um, it's really cool. Uh, it's all in a closed beta kind of thing, so you've got to request access. But it's, if you ever used a tracing system like Zipkin or something like that before, it's kind of a new take on it. It's done by a guy who did the tracing at Google, and I've done a startup. Uh, so, this uh, tracing system, so let me just try and We've got an instrument with our application, so every uh, request has a header back with a link to the tracing system. Let me try and get a trace. Okay, that was pretty quick. Uh, let me click on a trace. We'll collect it quick. Okay, let me just have a trace I've collect, uh, already done. All right, so what, it, what is the tracing system? When you've got a bunch of microservices or a bunch of different components, you have these requests bouncing around, they all um, Part of, they all have different responsibilities and there's like boundaries between HP requests and it's really useful to see when um, things are going wrong or things are going right or things are going slow. Uh, what is responsible for, uh, what, what is responsible for things? So this is a trace of a request that was done. You can see on the left all the different systems and how long they took. You can log a bunch of metadata about it. Um, it has some interesting information like it, will tell, it tells me that this took 83 milliseconds which is a P75 time for our system. Um, and so you can log a bunch of stuff. You can log a lot of stuff, like we, we log full payloads. Um, and we just log like everything. We don't do any sampling uh, yet. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so you have a full tr breakdown of the system and when things go wrong, um, let's see. They have these nice dashboards which give you um, just basic rollups of stuff. What to me is really nice is that it'll give me exemplars. So if I want to find out why our P99 time is one second, I can dive into an example trace of P99 time. And when I look through it, I can see that the, there's something in our a component that does type checking is really slow. Um, and then I can like dive into whatever data we might, would have logged with it. The way this works is it uses a package called Open Tracing. Um, basically, it's vendor neutral, so it can send data to Lightstep, Zipkin, Tracer, Jager, which is something new by Uber. Yeah, so you can switch between implementations. That's the cool thing I wanted to show. Mm -hmm.